Hello everyone, this is a quick video review of the few steel mastery products I've actually bought in the previous years. I've got a few things to show off here, notably some brigandine armor, I have a gambeson, some helmet heraldry, as well as a very nice chaperon helmet. More like a hat, I'd say. So, starting off, I'd like to take a little peek at the gambeson. Here you can see it's actually made of linen on the outside, and the lining inside is also made of linen. The particular model of this one, I think if I remember right, it's the 14th century long gambeson. You can see it's actually really quite long. Normally when I wear this, it'll go about one or two inches above my heels. Here you can also see there's the handmade straps. I think they look really nice and they make your costume a bit more historically accurate if you actually don't want the nickel plated straps. Now one of the best things about this gambeson is actually the leather parts here that you can add on. This here is the first time I've ever seen any company make these on a gambeson and they're really quite useful. If you're gonna put armored arms on your forearms here, this is going to hold it in place so it actually doesn't go and hurt your wrist when you're fighting. You can also attach the upper arm ear as well as your shoulders here with some nice leather straps. Now, you can also add any color you want to your kit. This one in particular I've had made half red, it's wine red, and half dark green. The dark green comes out a bit lighter when you uh, use the linen format instead of having it made of cotton or wool, but I do think it looks quite great. To go along with it, you can actually also order this here, which is very, very nice to add to your helmet. If you want to represent your guild colors, your team, whatever you're doing, either SCA, LARPing, Boher, anything goes. So you have two different colors, there's a nice trim on it. This is also linen, not that it actually changes much since it's gonna be on your helmet and not directly on your head. But I do think it's nice to have the same material made for your heraldry as well as your gambus, and so it fits well together. You can have these made of any color also, but I think having both of them match up is the best choice here. Now, moving on to my favorite pieces of all is the brigandine. Here, you can already see there's a custom-made heraldry icon stitched onto it by itself. You can see the stitching here is all made by hand. I've actually sent a picture of the logo I wanted to put on, which is the logo of my guild, and they did it for me. And I think it looks actually really good. The brigandine here is a Type 3 Visby brigandine. I've had a squared trim on top of it. So you can actually have a little flare on top of it if you wanted to. These pieces here, you can strap to your back and you'll have full on protection both in the front and in the back while still staying quite light. Here I've only had the nickel plated straps because I do think that this doesn't need to be as historically accurate for what I'm using it for. The metal used for the place is actually 18th gauge spring steel. You can see it here. It's well put on. The material itself is really quite strong and it's very nice to have. I've also had added these pieces here, the shoulders. They're actually covered so you can see the metal inside. But they fit quite well and are strapped to the brigandine with a leather lace. Now, moving on to the final piece. This is actually the first piece I've had from Steel Mastery ever. I bought this two years ago, I think. This is a chaperon helmet, a hat. You can see it's padded here, and you have this that will normally rest on the side of your head, like this, and you use these straps around your neck to add a bit of flair. It still looks quite great and is made of wool, so you can use this in pretty much any weather. I've actually used this uh, hat in <laughs> above 30 Celsius degrees, and minus 20 celsius degrees it's good for any occasion especially when it's cold or when it's raining 
because wool has a nice property of when it rains on it or it gets damp, it will actually uh, become warmer because of it as it dries up. So it's really useful to have when it's raining. So, that's about it for the tour. Hopefully, you will also buy some nice Steel Mastery gear for yourself, and I hope you've enjoyed the video.